What's going on everybody? Back again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about, this is gonna be for real estate agents or just people in sales in general. Now, when you're going door to door or you're picking up the phone, you may come across people who are gonna cuss you out. And I really wanted to make this video today because I was knocking with Dylan from Team BC and in Diamond Bar, we were knocking and somebody cussed us out. <laughs> it was funny. It was actually a good experience for Dylan because now it put him in a position to see and know how to react the next time he does come across a homeowner who's going to get crazy on him and rowdy. So the point is, is that, you know, we came across his house, me and Dylan were talking, we ended up knocking. I saw the no soliciting sign on the person's mailbox and I said, okay, cool. The moment he opens the door, I'm going to tell him we're not selling anything because we're not. So he goes and uh, he says, hello. And he was in his garage. He wasn't in the house itself because the garage was right next to the house and the garage door was open. So I said, hey there, sir, we'll be real quick. I'm not here to sell you anything. However, I am helping two families looking to move into the area. I go through my script, I introduce myself as well. And he's like, did you read my mailbox? And I said, I told you, I'm not here to sell you anything. Did you hear me? And he says, get off my property. I don't want to buy any of your products, um, sir. I understand. However, we're not here to sell you anything. I'll be real quick. You know, uh, do you know of anybody looking to buy or sell? I go through my script. He's still giving me a hard time. Point is, I go ahead and just walk away. As I'm walking away, though, I said, I don't even want to be on this ugly property to begin with. And I don't appreciate you disrespecting me. Okay? Because I told you from the start, I'm not selling you anything. And I just walked away. However, I stood up for myself and a lot of agents don't, you know, they sit there, they take it and then they walk away. And those types of agents are the ones that don't make it too far in this business. Now, I'm not saying you should stand up and disrespect the homeowner. No. However, there's a fine line in between that, whether you need to disrespect them and whether they're not disrespecting them. Okay. I'm not going to let a person walk all over me to begin with. I'm not ever because at the end of the day, we have to understand that there's another human being in front of me. Even from a homeowner's perspective, I, they think that you know, you're just some person who's not human and they can treat you like that. No. And that's the thing. They've been treating other people like that in their lives. So the moment they come across somebody like myself who doesn't give a fuck and tells them how it needs to be told, it's a pattern interrupt. It shocks their system. So now they're like, oh shit. Maybe I shouldn't talk to people like that. And they need that. So the point is, as a realtor and you're knocking, even on the phone, I tell people too, as long as it's not affecting you and myself emotionally as an agent, I tell them how it needs to be said, literally, because I'm gonna stand up for myself. I'm not gonna let people walk all over me. It's ridiculous, you know? Or another thing I like to do as well is when they do try and cuss me out, I just start laughing. And I say, oh, it's that time of the month again. Because it, it's, you shouldn't take that stuff serious. It's not worth it. It's not worth your time and emotions to get involved into that frequency, that very low frequency they're on. And you don't, because now once you tune into that station, that radio station that they're listening to based off their subconscious mind and their negative thoughts that are reoccurring in their head, as soon as you turn into that, their radio station, now you're just repeating whatever it is they told you onto the next two or three calls, two or three doors. And it's at that point, it's just, it's not worth it. You know, one person ruining your vibe for what? So what you can do is just laugh and go on to the next call, go on to the next door. I take it a little extra further because I don't give a fuck. I'll tell them, man, seems to me like it's that time of the month again. Because you're really emotional right now. I'll be on my way. And then they'll be like, what? And they just keep going. I'm just like, bye-bye. I just keep walking onto the next. But that right there is that nonchalant attitude. Like, I don't give a fuck. And that's how you need to be. You can't just let a person walk all over you. You know, so I just figured I'd make this video to teach you guys. Because I've seen, I saw Dylan right next to me. And he told me. I would have probably just stood there, took it and walked away, which I understand from a new agent's perspective and not ever being in sales. However, you need to be able to stand up for yourself and you have to go through that experience 
to see for yourself that, hey, I need to stand up for myself because it's stuff like this that reminds me of who I am and it makes me stronger. So the next time you do run into somebody acting like that, you know, you can just laugh at them and be like, man, you're crazy and just go on to the next door. Or you can just go ahead and stand up for yourself and be like, hey, I appreciate it if you don't disrespect me and talk to me like that because we're both adults here. I understand you're emotional. However, I'm just asking you a question, sir or ma'am. And, you know, just keep it real. But don't let them disrespect you. All right. So I hope you learned something. If you did, click the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.